Good morning, I'm Ashley. And I'm Megan. Welcome to TNFR Channel 98. Thanks for tuning in. Here are some things happening this week at North Freedom Elementary. We should be using our cool tools in the lunchroom, hallways, and everywhere in the school. For each ticket earned, some classes will be adding rubber bands to the rubber band ball. Let's see how big we can make it. Also, we now have these big red tickets that can be earned when your class earns 100 small tickets. You earn a big one yet to hang in your classroom. Has your class earned any tickets yet? We have some cool things going on in Phi Ed, Music, and Art. Ashley has a story on this. In Phi Ed class, students will be finishing up a hockey unit. Next, they'll be starting a Chinese jump rope, jump bands, and a tumbling unit. Chinese jump rope resembles our game of hopscotch. The game is typically played with three players that use large bands about five to six feet in length. Two of the participants, our holders, face each other about three feet apart with their feet together and position the rope around their ankle so that it is taut. Third player, the jumper, then stands between the two sides of the rope and does a series of moves. In music, some classes have been working hard on mastering the recorder. There are many other exciting things happening in February here at North Freedom. On February 14th, weather permitting, the third grader will the third graders will be snowshoeing with Mr. Williams. Also, will, also there will be our Valentine class parties on February on that day. February 16th will be our school sock hop, sponsored by the North Freedom Parent Group. We also have family reading night coming up on February 23rd. This week will be the 100th day of school. Many classes have been celebrating this day by doing special projects. Kindergarten counted out 100 Cheerios and made a necklace. They also made a chart in the computer lab with 100 stamps on it. First grade will make a chart by typing in all 100 numbers. Something really cool also happened on the 100th day of school. First and math students earned 100,000 stickers. Way to go. Don't forget that it is our last week for collecting box tops. All the box tops must be turned in by February 14th. As a school so far for this competition, we have raised over $600. Let's see if our class will be the winner of the Captain Box Top Award. Remember, we will also have one more collection at the end of the year of the school year. So if you haven't already, make sure to ask friends, neighbors, and family to start collecting them for you. Have you ever noticed a framed picture of birds across the hall from Mr. King's class? This print is by a Wisconsin artist named Owen Romy, and the Spencer family generously framed our copy. It is of a pair of passenger pigeons that are perched above the Wisconsin River. A, a, a Wisconsin Dells businessman named Bud Gussel donated this picture to our school along with 600 more that he donated to other schools and libraries in Wisconsin. Why did he do this? Because the passenger pigeon was the most abundant bird in North America continent at one time and is now gone forever. In 1813, it was reported that the flock was so thick they darkened the sky and the wings sounded like thunder. It was estimated the flock was over a billion birds. One of the greatest nestings occurred in Wisconsin in 1871 with an estimated 136 million birds. Well, about 40 years later, the last known passenger pigeon died in a zoo in Cincinnati in, in 1914. This bird was destroyed by humans and will never be back again. Mr. Gussell said, I want people to remember that protection of species is important because without it, we could lose something forever. Did you know that the German tiger was declared extinct in 1979 and the majestic West African black rhino in 2006. Let's take care of our world and all of its creatures. You may have noticed a glass case from this picture in the upcoming weeks. We'll talk about some of the, these Wisconsin native bird animals and birds that are displayed in the case. Time for the riddle of the week. Here is first grader Anna T reading a joke for us. She's on first. Why is honey so sweet? I will repeat that. Why is honey so sweet? The answer is because. Get it? Because. Like a bee. Don't forget that if you have a joke you would like to share, please drop it off with Miss Seymour in the computer lab. Thank you, Anna. Now please stand and join soon of the week. 
Erin B. and her friend Anna T. for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks for watching the North Freedom Report. I'm Megan, and I'm Ashley, signing off.